Hey guys, this is Dave the Software Dev again, and this is going to be my first video uh, in a series regarding Knockout JS. Uh, Knockout JS, like uh, my series on Twitter Bootstrap, is something that I will probably not write software without for quite some time. It's a, uh, a view model uh, binding solution which allows you to take data in your JavaScript and very easily uh, convert it uh, into UI elements and, and things like that on your web page. Uh, it's, a, it's a super awesome library. You need to check it out. We're going to use it here. Uh, I'm including it uh, in my little page here that I've created. Uh, the current version is 2.3.0 as of this uh, video. So all I have to do is include that JavaScript. So one of the main tenets of Knockout is that you build uh, what's called a model to sort of fashion your data. So a model is generated uh, by a function. So we're going to create a new model here. So we call it model. I'll keep it simple. And this is going to be a function that we'll call with the new operator to instantiate our model in a bit. Uh, one thing I like to do is to keep track of the this uh, value within my functions. That way uh, any any sub functions that I write out of this would, would maintain that self variable and I would not lose track of my this and the reason for that is that sometimes you'll call an event uh, for either from knockout or from some other code and this would not be what you expect so I'll, I like to copy it into self and uh, and reference everything via self <clears throat> so uh, we're going to create a couple of uh, new variables here uh, I'm going to use this for these because they're not going to be inside of uh, any function calls. But we're going to create a single value, and we're going to use an, uh, a, a function to generate it, which is called observable. Ko dot observable. I'm going to give it a value of 15. Now, what I'm doing there is instead of setting this to uh, 15, for instance, uh, just a, a given value, I'm instead calling this ko dot observable function to create a new observable object with a value of 15 in it. Uh, <clears throat> Knockout is going to use these observables to update the uh, display uh, once we get to some display code in a bit. Uh, I'm also going to create an array value using the exact same observable function except I'm just going to pass it an array of values and I'm going to create an object type associative array with two values, a name and a value of 32. So I've got three observables that Knockout is going to maintain. Basically, um, any time that I change the value of one of these variables, because it's an observable, uh, my U user interface is going to automatically update itself. So let's actually display some of this on the screen. In order to display some uh, data, you're going to use the data bind attribute. So I'm going to create a paragraph tag, and inside of that, I'm going to put a span with an attribute of data bind equals, and I'm going to set the text to single value. Close out my span and close out my paragraph. So basically, inside of the span, knockout is going to drop into the text within the span whatever is stored inside of single value, which would be 15, since uh, that's what I'm initializing it to. I'm also going to very quickly introduce you to the for each operator, because we have an array here. I'm going to create an unordered list with a data bind of for each, and we're going to give it array value. So array value is going to pertain to this observable, and I've already initialized it with an array there. So basically this uh, data bind of for each is going to pretty much loop through each entry in this array and it's going to duplicate whatever code I put inside of the container object that has that for each there. So we're going to duplicate it into list items and on the list items we're going to display the data. So this data, dollar sign data, is a special value, and that corresponds to whichever item you are currently iterating through on the array. So it'll, in the first loop, it'll be data will be one, second loop, it'll be two, three, then A, B, C. You also have available to you root in case you need to access your model object. 
but we're just going to use data here. And lastly, I'm going to display the data from my associative array that I've created here. I'm going to um, put in bold the name, and then I'm going to drop a span with the text set to object dot name. Put a line break there. I'll just copy this. And we're going to display value object dot value. Now notice that I did not say here object this dot object dot name. Instead I'm calling a function object dot name. That's because it, this is this is ko dot observable is a function, and when it's called, it will return the value that it is uh, that it is storing. So it'll return the object in this case, and after we call that function, we can uh, we can get the name and the value. So let's save that and take a look at what we get. All right, so I tried to look at my uh, my page here, and you notice nothing is displaying. That's because I forgot a little bit of code. Now, in order to display that on the screen you've got to actually apply your bindings and I'm not using jQuery here where we would have you know like a, a document ready function like that so I'm just going to use window dot onload equals and then the function for onload. Now, there's nothing wrong with using uh, the jQuery document ready to run this code it's just I'm, I don't have jQuery included right now so we're going to call ko dot apply bindings we're going to give it a new model object so it's going to execute this uh, this model here with the object that it gets back it's going to apply the bindings to anything on the page that has a, a data bind on it so let's save that and refresh and there you go uh, there's our data being displayed there it's pulling here uh, our single value of 15 our observable of 123 ABC uh, our object value here where we're getting back an associative array object and pulling out the values from within that. So this has been a very, very quick overview for Knockout. I plan to create a series of these to go into each one in depth, but uh, hopefully this one can be just a reference for you on, uh, on getting some data actually bound on the screen. Uh, if this video helps you out, please uh, subscribe and, uh, and like the video and share it. Thanks.